morning. How are we doing? Hope we're all okay. Hope you all enjoyed uh, recovered after Sunday's uh, live with Shelley. Well, it's Monday morning. Move more in March. Monday morning. I'm out with Rolo. He's there somewhere. Where is he? He's in there. He is. And uh, we're halfway through his walk. I think. I think it's about probably about an eight or nine k walk that I'm going to do this morning. I've set the task today. I weighed myself this morning and it wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> that numbers game on the scales wasn't doing very well at all. I lost. Um, I'm actually 97 kilos. I can't remember what that is in stones and pounds. I'll put that in the uh, below now. Um, I think when I first came to Tenerife, I was about 82, 83. And the lockdown and the battle with the beer, the cheap beer, I think is the reason. So we decided to do something about it for March. Um, three things happening today. First thing of all is going to be the long walk that we're doing with Rolo now. Then I've got a crappy old uh, exercise bike out the back. And I think I'm going to go and do an hour on that. And I've stupidly sent a text to Daniel, the crack master, to see if he wants to go for a run at six o'clock. Because I used to be a runner until my back gave way, but I think it's slowly starting to come back, so I need to get back into it again. So, uh, even though it's Monday morning, by the time all this has been edited, you'll almost be Tuesday before you see it. But uh, I just wanted to wish you all a happy Monday. Band name there somewhere. Um, enjoy your day. Um, I hope you enjoy, still enjoy what we're up to. Enjoy seeing what's going on. Um, I'm exactly actually where I am. I'm on the, uh, I'm parallel to the uh, road that gets you into Amarilla. Amarilla boys, not Amarilla. And uh, okay, on the walk with Rolo, it's nice to have him off his lead. And uh, I'll document how the day goes. Catch up with you in a bit, okay? Ciao. <laughs> Keep bumping into other dogs and it's not great because when Rolo sees another dog he doesn't listen to me in the slightest the trouble is with him is that he is soft as class he wouldn't damage you wouldn't anybody however he would not people over and when this massive weight comes running at someone and they haven't got a clue what the hell the dog's gonna react they get scared so unfortunately he's back on his lead so the rest of the walk will have to be done on his lead mate sorry about that buddy His ears are pricked up because there's another dog over there, so... Anyway, let's turn this off and keep an eye on him. Come on, let's keep going. So, just a little mask disclaimer again. Because I've been in the middle of nowhere, I've had the mask off so I can breathe easier. But I'm coming back into now a populated area, so uh, it's back with the mask on, unfortunately. But it's got to be done, that's the rules. 
<sighs> Goodbye, fresh air. <laughs> So part two, um, part two didn't actually happen because part two was going to be the uh, hour on a bike today. Uh, but things got ahead of me and things happened in the house like they normally do. So we'll skip part two and move straight on to part three. Move it more in March. Um, it is now just shy of six o'clock on a Monday evening in Los Cristianos. It has been raining a little bit, just spitting. Temperature's dropped to about 18, which for us is cold. For you guys, it's most probably going to be amazing. Um, and I asked Dan, the crack master, if he wanted to come with me for a run. Um, he's agreed. He says, how far are we going to go? 10 kilometres or 5? I'm like, Christ. A little bit of a backstory. Um, the golf created a back injury for me, um, which was fine. And I used to do a lot of running. And up until about two years ago, I loved running. And I could just lose myself. Runners will know, just like meditation, you just eat the pavement away. And I could do five, ten k's. I trained for a marathon, killed a marathon up, up in Newcastle. Um, managed to get to about 17 miles. And then uh, I hit a wall, a mental wall, twice. Uh, so I never got that. So my furthest I ever ran was 17 miles. But I loved running. Uh, foolishly, about a year and a half ago, I decided somebody, somebody goaded me into a game of golf. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. And I've never been right since. My back's never been right since. Um, I normally, I've tried running again and I've only lasted about 150 metres. This was up until uh, about five months ago. So oh, about three, four months ago. Um, and then two weeks ago, I decided to go for another run, see if I could do it. And I managed two and a half K. So I was over the moon, fist pump, everything was brilliant. Um, and I didn't do anything else about it. And the problem is, is that uh, since the um, lockdown has happened, I've most probably put on about two stone um, because this is the heaviest I've ever been in my life. Um, also, people will, you know, can affiliate with it. I'm, I'm 49 years of age, clocking on 50 next year, and uh, I don't want to take this carcass through to the next half a century in the condition it's in. So every time I've tried to do something about it, I've lasted a week or so, and then uh, just because of the fact that I couldn't run, and then uh, got back on the scales and I was another kilo heavier. So I was like, because I'm a bloke that likes beer. You know, who doesn't like beer or a glass of wine? You know, it's nice. So I thought, right, move it more in March. Let's see what we can do on a Monday. I just, do you know, the thing is you need to get the, it's like a diesel engine. You need to get it going. Uh, once it's up and running, it's great. You know, once, once you get into a routine, but you need to get that routine up and running. I was sat on the couch um, an hour ago thinking to myself, shall I just cancel? So I just called Dan and cancel. And uh, I nearly did. I genuinely nearly cancelled. And then he sent me a message going, what time are we doing it? And he's like, come on, let's come on, Rick, let's get up into this. So uh, 
I'm not going to film the run because I'm not. It's not about that. It's actually about doing the run itself. It's not about the filming of the run. Uh, but I'll definitely film um, when I get back and see, let you know how I got on with it. So wish me luck. I know I'm about 10 minutes early, so I'm going to get out of the car, sort my stuff out. I've got a pair of shorts on that I used to run in now. I think, oh my God, they're like too short for me. But uh, there we go. Wish me luck and I'll uh, I'll see you at the end. All right, I'll see you at... Uh... <laughs> oh God. So, here we go. See you in a bit. He's done it to me again. How did I do? Don't don't blow smoke up my backside. How did I do? He did well. First one in a few years, like. Fair play to him. He finished the 5k, which is absolutely excellent. It's all about finishing the distance. And uh, it was a nice little run. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. And even at the end, the little hill at the end, he pushed himself <laughs> right up to the end and he finished to the top of it, which was impressive. He didn't give in. I'll tell you what. Fighting spirit. I wouldn't have done it without you. Thank you. 100%, this is man. something we're regularly going to do because we're going to move i'm going to move it more in march anyway that's what i'm trying to do so thank you very much for listening don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the crack master as well we'll put your link in there the and link. we'll uh <laughs> we'll see you on the line with the next one i'm just going to go home to i'm just going to lie over there for a bit you're just going to get sick I'm just over gonna go, there yeah i'm just going to go live <laughs> see you later guys adios <laughs>